Hey, this is Coach Travis back with another episode of the Rep by Rep Strength Podcast. And today I wanted to talk about a quote from one of my favorite coaches. So Coach Dan John has, shoot, been strength coach for 40 plus years at this point, I believe. And my favorite thing I've ever heard him say is the goal is to keep the goal the goal. And I think we see that a lot when it comes to strength and conditioning and working with athletes of, of uh, you know, who are competitive and want to improve upon everything. So, perfect example is I was just having a conversation with a guy who uh, has a target date for something he needs to um peak for and he wants to lose fat he wants to build muscle he wants to uh, be at a heavier body weight he wants to get stronger he wants to do all of these things at once but what I was talking to him about is let's focus on a singular goal right now how far away from your peak date are we that we can focus on losing fat first if that's his primary objective. So, as the old saying goes, if you chase two rabbits, you'll catch none. It's better to focus on just chase this, the one rabbit that's the most important to you right now, and then we can focus on a next target goal, whatever that is. And it's important for people to understand that it is extremely difficult to develop all qualities and bring them up to a maximal level all at once. What works better is going to be sequential development of a specific quality stacked on top of a specific quality stacked on top of a specific quality in a way that makes sense. It's a very basic concept called phase potentiation. So, um, also when I was talking with this guy, I was wanting him to know that anything that detracts and takes away from or could get in the way of his goal is a distraction. So, from this conversation, he wants to um, work towards this, this peak date but he also wants to play a recreational sport. So my question to him was, are you okay with potentially getting injured playing this recreational sport? That's only a question he can answer. If he's okay with taking the risk of getting injured while participating in this recreational sport, and that's a trade-off that he's willing to make, then that's, that's all well and good, but he needs to understand the potential uh, negative outcomes that can happen if he's doing something just for fun and it ultimately takes away from his chance to peak for this date. So things to consider and, and look into when evaluating, okay, how important is this, this target date to me? How, how important is this goal to me? And then what am I willing to give up and, and sacrifice ultimately so that I can do what I want to do? Um, it's, it's only questions. It's, it's highly, a lot of context. Um, these are all individual things to consider on a case-by-case scenario. It's not as easy as, you know, hey, here's a blanket statement. Everybody should do X. It's more of everybody has a different tolerance to, uh, to risk, Um, Everybody has a different tolerance to, um, you know, what trade-offs am I willing to make and not make, i.e., you know, if if I have to work towards this goal, how much time is it going to require from me, and, you know, what's going to have to, um, you know, where is the extra time going to come from? If I need to devote extra time to training for this, well, where else am I okay with giving up time. So 
the final thing I'll leave you with that I was talking to this guy about was think of every day, every week, every month. You've got a tank out that scored out of 100. With that tank, everything that you do emotionally, physically, spiritually, will, positive or negative, will affect that tank. So what's the least amount that you can do physically and still get a positive adaptation that works towards your goal? What are the, this sounds bad, but what's the least, uh, least amount of time that I can invest in a relationship and it still be in a, in a positive place and I can move forward working towards my goal and so on. All of these things will ultimately drain my tank. So anything that is draining to me at some point, fatigue will start to accumulate and build up. So it's important to get very, very clear on what it is that you want to pursue and what it is exactly you're willing to trade off and sacrifice so that you can reach your goals. If I can help you with anything, please drop me an email, jtbarrettfitness at gmail.com. Or you can join the strength circle, travisbarrett.com backslash community. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Talk to you later.